Okay, so I have people ask me all the time, what's the safest aircraft to be in if you're to have it, a loss of an engine? And absolutely, without any question, the safest aircraft with loss of the power plant is going to be a gyroplane. You can get the aircraft into a very small spot, uh, <clears throat> very versatile. There's no collective to lower. I, I've done several videos on people that lost an engine in a helicopter due to fuel starvation. They even knew they were low on fuel. They didn't get the collective down, and unfortunately, those were all fatals. So I'm going to go up today and show you that you can, and I'll go up to 500, 1,000, 1,500. I'll vary my landings at different positions. I'm going to go up to about a 1,000 uh, feet or so and just shut the engine off. I'll glide down and make some landings onto the runway. I'll start the engine back up. We'll climb back out again. We'll try it again. We'll see how accurate you can get with the engine completely off. And when I uh, edit the video, I'll flip the camera around let you see that the uh, propellers are is, uh, not turning. Okay, so here we go. Okay, it's so winds are out of the south, so we'll go out here and use runway two zero. Way out to save time, I'll actually spin the rotor up on the way out. Cape Toronto traffic or experimental uh, five seven or five six seven Charlie Charlie. Gonna be uh, departing runway two zero. We'll be remaining over the top of the airport on some uh, practice emergency landings two zero four uh, seven Charlie Charlie. So we got a little bit of wind today, so you'll notice that this thing will get in the air in quite a short distance. Traffic, Skyway 51, Tony at the perimeter will be using runway 28 for departure. No, Roger, I'll remain north of uh, 28 at all times on runway 20, I'll be no factor for you though. Know. Okay, thank you very much for expecting, uh, just about five minutes till we're off the ground. Appreciate your help. No, Roger that. Shut the engine off again. And it looks like we're almost going straight down. Of course, we kind of are. <laughs> And again, we're going to stay north of 2-8, let the airliner... 
Runway 28, we'll use the north end of Runway 20. Crafty, Gallagher 567, Charlie Turner. How about Experimental 567, Charlie Turner? On the downwind for runway 20, Cape Girardeau traffic. And we'll be remaining north at the intersection at all times. Okay, so this time we're going to climb on up a little higher, maybe out 900 or so, whatever. And let's say that I want to land somewhere in the neighborhood of the 2-0 on 2-0. Maybe, let's say, let's say halfway in between the 2-0 and the touchdown markers, all right? Let's try that. All right, so I'll we'll throw it away. Idle for about 10 seconds here before I shut it down. All right, engine is off. Going a little long, so I'll slow it down there, steepen it up some. All right, now I'm going to let my nose come down again. Kind of quiet without the engine running. And we're on the ground. Start the engine again. Short field takeoff. And we're on the go. All right, this time I'm going to go for, uh, eh, what the heck, let's go for uh, to the uh, two zero on the runway, two zero. That's up Charlie, Charlie's on the downwind, runway two zero, keep your other Appeared about uh, 900, I guess. Bring it down to idle for a little bit. Or shut it down. Speed down. And just coming off. It's going to go a little bit long, but not too bad. And just back on. Short field takeoff. Yeah, I dropped it, Cape Toronto. Six seven Charlie Charlie is uh, turning uh, crosswind to downwind runway two zero and uh, again no factor for the airliner departing we're north of the uh, intersection of the runway. Okay, so I just want to advise you uh, we just got a slight delay into Chicago, so we'll be on the ground here for uh, probably about uh, five more minutes. If uh, you continue to stay north, we'd much appreciate that, or just advise us your position we're monitoring. No, Roger. Well, I'm just uh, going up, shutting the engine down, doing some emergency landing on 2 zero, so I can remain north of the intersection at all times. So I'll stay in the air, and you guys just give me a call when you're leaving out. 
Oh, sounds fun. Have fun. Uh, yeah, we'll uh, give you a, a, a call uh, right before we uh, leave. Expect in about five minutes. Thanks for your help. Hey, resident. So let's go for the two zero again. I'm gonna shut the engine off. So I got the two zero out in front of me here. Gotta let my descent and continue. All right, now I'm gonna bring my nose down a little bit. Let's see about getting that airspeed back. And there we go. Touchdown, yeah, hard. Missed it by about 20 feet. Missed it by that much. <laughs> All right, engine's running, we're on the go. Touchdown markers on runway two zero. Touchdown markers down there below us. Throttle back a little here. Let it idle for just a bit. All right, now we shut down our engine. I can actually do a bit of an S turn if I wanted. I can turn left. Cape Girardeau traffic service 5120 is taking runway 28 for departure to the west. Cape, Tra right. Cape Girardeau traffic. Let the nose come down. All right, you guys have a good flight. Um, when you get to the ground, are you just going to stay there for a couple minutes until uh, we can get going? You bet you. I'll, I'll hold short. I'm on the ground now. If you're not moving, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll be able to go. Sky 5120. Yep, we're holding short. Roger. Engine again. Uh, Kate Rotter traffic sky with fifty one twenty departing runway two eight. Kate Rotter. Go up here and depart north 
to the intersection here. Okay, drive traffic, guys, 5120, we're departing the area to the south. Uh, you have a good flight, sir. Yeah, you guys do. You have, uh, have a good day. All right, so, in on the power. Feet or a thousand feet. Let's say that. Uh, oh, let's pick a spot here. How about uh, the intersection of the two runways? We'll use that as our spot we're aiming for, and see how close we can get uh, on the uh, intersection of two runways. We're up here at about a thousand feet, still climbing a little. Yeah, a thousand feet's good enough. So I'll come back on the power, let it idle just a minute. With my engine. Again, we're going for the intersection. Boy, sure is quiet up here without an engine going. Going for the intersection of the runways here. Engine back on again. There we go. And we're on our way. 